Jackson. Gordon there. could not have been and lost the ball. Gordon fumbles and it's picked up. Nick Bolton, the former Missouri Tiger with a game-changing play. A scoop and score. Melvin Ingram knocked the ball loose from Melvin Gordon. Right here, just darts. He did it on the previous play. Neither tight end picks him up. So he hits Melvin Gordon as soon as he gets his hand on the ball. Let me take you back to the beginning of the story. The Steelers are closing in on a deal with former Charger Melvin Ingram. That's according to our insider Ian Rappaport. I think he's a great piece to add to the Steelers' yes. defense, especially now that Bud Dupree is gone. Because he's been playing well, third on the entire team in pressures behind only Cam Hayward and T.J. Watt. That's pretty good company. Second on the team, or actually he's tied for the team lead with T.J. Watt when it comes to quarterback hits, quarterback hurries. He has 11, that's second on the team. He's 10 years in, he's a veteran guy, but production's still there. We continue to follow breaking news. Steelers trading pass rusher Melvin Ingram to the Chiefs. Our Josina Anderson reporting that. We traded Melvin Ingram. Um, I enjoy working with Melvin. Uh, it just didn't work out the way we envisioned, the way he envisioned, and, and sometimes that happens in free agency. From a team perspective also, um, it, it's better to have volunteers as opposed to hostages, and so that's good for the team as well. If you're in that locker room and you know Kansas City, they got back to 500, they're struggling, and you're trading a, a, a key piece that could potentially help them. It boosts the competitor. You raising an eyebrow there or are you trusting Mike Tomlin and Kevin Colbert? You got to still raise your eyebrow just a little bit. The Steelers have dealt Melvin Ingram to the Kansas City Chiefs. A little impact to bolster that defense linebacker. You want to pick up here or you, you want to let Mark hey, hey, Look, look, look. If the Pittsburgh Steelers are giving up on the linebacker in the middle of the season, um, you know, stop, that, that, stop that, 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 I don't That's know what, what the situation what does that say to you? is. Listen, I know Melvin Ingram can play, yeah. but it's eight games into the season. The fact of the matter is, if you was going to be that impactful, you would have been there, okay? That's how I'm viewing it, all right? Middle of the season, not beginning of the season, not, 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 not training camp, nothing like that. Middle of the season, they say, yo, man, you can go. You can go. I mean, that's a, that's a message there. That's just me. Melvin Ingram was an animal out there. The first time I seen it, we were sitting there watching. Me and Billy Baker was watching this sucker press the tackle Put it on Jordan Love, put him on his lap. So this is a guy that you could plug on the left side, the right side. He'll get after the quarterback. He's going to play hard. He's a tough guy. Melvin Ingram's presence. Uh, what are your thoughts and takeaways on uh, his play? His presence, uh, with leadership, and I'm sure just his 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 passion about the game. Uh, he's getting those guys right, man. Melvin Ingram, the longtime Chargers started this season in Pittsburgh and then came here a couple of weeks ago. Watch the hit. Just comes over. And I think that he really has a chance to be a difference maker on this defense. Crowd already at full throat. Pressure put on. Down he goes. Melvin Ingram came over in a trade with Pittsburgh about a month ago. Not a good idea when you let Ingram run free. Now they did bring a slot blitz over here on the side, but direct access that time to Teddy Bridgewater. So after a great run on first down, nothing. Melvin's coming in, man, with a whole different presence, man. I love it. And I think without that piece, still have been struggling defensively. Without, without a doubt. You, you mentioned that, uh, how they had to play Chris Jones outside early in the season. And then the addition of Melvin Ingram allowed them to bump him back inside a little bit more, solidified their edge. Did you weigh that at all when you traded him, knowing that you would play these guys down the stretch? To be quite honest with you and blunt, Melvin no longer wanted to be here. And for us, uh, we prefer volunteers as opposed to hostages. How sweet is it to make your mark with this team? This team has a great opportunity, particularly given the fact that there were people at your last stop who didn't believe in you. It's cool, it's cool. I wouldn't necessarily say they didn't believe in me. They knew what I was, so I wouldn't say they didn't believe in me. But they, they had their guys, and I ain't, that situation was over with. It was just, I just went over to say hi and kept moving. But it's, it's been amazing here from day one.